Hi, I'm Helen Troyer. I run Marmalade Cake Company here in Toronto. We do a lot of wedding cakes, but we're starting to do a lot of cupcakes, and they're very easy to do. And I'll show you some tricks today on how to do them. So before we get started, there's a few tools that we'll have to have. We need a piping bag, and we'll get some tips. The tips come in so many different sizes. There's literally hundreds out there. There are many different designs. They all do a different decoration on the cupcakes. So get an assortment and, and play around with them and have fun. We'll see what kind of designs we can come up with. The coupler. This is a really important tool. It's a two-part system. It screws together and it allows you to attach the tip directly onto the bag, but you can unscrew it so that you can keep changing the tips and trying out a different shape or design. And of course, get a spatula. This will help pick up the icing and we'll be able to easily put it into the piping bag so we're not making too much of a mess. So now let's get started. We'll fill up our piping bag. Take the bag and just fold about two or three inches downwards. We'll pick up one of our piping couplers, unscrew it, and slip it right into the bag. This ring goes on the very end and that will hold the tip. Maybe we'll start with a round. Slide it right into the ring and that goes right onto the end of the bag. Nice and tight so none of the icing comes out. Take the piping bag in a tall glass and fold that uh, right over top. Make a little hole in the middle. There we go. A little easier in, in, instead of needing uh, two or three hands. There we are. Now take the edges of the collar and lift the entire piping bag right out. Just give it a squeeze to make the icing go right down. Take an elastic band and go right over the edge. There you go, ready to pipe. I'm going to show you how to do three different designs. The classic swirl, the bathing cap, and the flower. Let's get started by trying out the classic swirl. For that we're going to need a star tip. Take a hold of the cupcake, keep it nice and steady. With your other hand, start at the very edge, all the way around. Meet there, come up a little higher, and right in the middle, and pull away. Now that we've mastered the classic swirl, let's move on to something a little more intricate. We'll try the bathing cap. This is the grass tip. It has a lot of openings in the ends, which let a lot of icing out at once in little stripes. It makes it kind of look like grass. Start in the middle of the cupcake, nearly touching, and push right down. This is a nice messy one. Kids will probably love to do this one. Kind of looks like a bathing cap. You can put a couple of flowers on it. All the way to the edge. Something perfect for spring. And the last cupcake that we'll ice today will be the flower. This one will really wow the guests. It takes two different piping bags for this. One color with the crescent tip, and the second one we'll use will do the middle of the flower. Just a little round tip. So for this cupcake, we're going to start in the middle and pull the icing outwards. I'm going to do this flower in pink and yellow, but you can do whatever color combination you'd like. Just going all the way around in a circle. Keep going right from the middle, all the way outwards. You can lift up at the end too. It makes a nice little effect. We'll start again, making the lines just a little bit shorter. And go all the way around the cupcake again. And then one last time, even shorter. And we'll put the little dots in the middle. And it's done. With just a few tools and a little bit of practice, the possibilities are endless.